Testing. Testing one, two, three, one, two, three. Man, it doesn't look so good. Does it look good? Does it look okay? Is it a little choppy? It looks a little choppy. I should have rebooted. I was running late on time. Oh, well, too late for that. The show must go on. And on it must. And I hate being late. Um, I look at it as a not giving a fuck. I would rather uh, someone hire not come in than to be late. Uh, I'm just always so that's why I'm almost never late. I would rather early than late. But. And uh, I was watching something very peculiar. And you can tell by the title of the show. This isn't Prince. This isn't about Prince. <laughs> um, I saw uh, just a meltdown. But all right. Anyway, let's get on with the show. Hello, hi, and welcome. My name is RPJ. And this is... The RPJ Show Live by way of Jonathan Still. Again, I'm your host, R. J. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a huge celebrity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, to it's now my matter. And yesterday, um, I text pe people that I text back, but I try calling each and every client that uh, I completely just had a, a, a brain fart of a, of a morning. And uh, I said, listen, I'm so sorry that I didn't show up at a part. I'm so sure uh, um, um, uh, I owe you guys a day. You don't have to pay me for you know, for for Monday coming up, and, uh, and then on one client, this will be Tuesday. That Tuesday coming up. Um, yeah, so I, I, I that even happened. Uh, I I never miss. Uh, well, that's not true. I sometimes miss clients. Uh, if I had a hangover, usually show at the park, or if I am so far away. And um, I just can't make it there in time. But, um, you know, my responsibilities is to be there. That's my job. If that's my job, then I'm supposed to be there. I'm supposed to make my appointments. I'm not supposed to be five minutes late. I'm supposed to be five minutes early. Make your appointments, stick to what you say. It's about character and credibility. This is how I have repeat business. This is how I am referred. That's my job. That's my business. This is what I have to do. Just like anything else, no matter what it is, no matter how big it is, how small it is, that is my job. And I fucking blew it, and I was very upset with myself. And um, I'm about to cry. Uh, uh, so, yeah, I apologize to those people I uh, offered. Of uh, days of having to pay me next week, um, I rolled over whatever payments they can make to me in the following Friday. I mean, I could use the money in my pocket, you know. I can, I could have went by and picked it up, but that would have been like no class whatsoever. And I'm a classy individual, as you can see, as you can tell. <laughs> um, the antibiotics are kicking. I hate taking antibiotics, but I got to take them. Um, the print stuff, um, I mean, I got some stories about and, um, it's how, um, Prince was, some of the music of Prince, the movie Prince came at a weird time, came at a good time in my life, uh, as I've gone through some, as some of you guys know that I've gone through some hellacious times as a kid in my household, and, um, the Prince movie came out at a weird time. 
for me and it kind of helped uh, push me over the edge in terms of like, yeah, you know what? This is my life. How the decision I made a couple years prior to this right. I am my own person. I'm going to do it a little bit my way and learn along the way as well. Um, learn everything I need to learn and ask the plan, but be expressive, be creative. And I'll get into all that stuff maybe on Monday or Tuesday next week. Because I have pressing information. Oh, I don't know about pressing information. Hold on. One second, folks. I'm going to make sure I go to the uh, uh, chat room page. I'm on the I'm just looking at myself. And uh, looking at myself isn't one of my, that's something I really want to do. If I was pretty good like you guys, I would end up like you guys, then I would want to do it. Okay. Oh, and I can't listen to myself. Okay, hey. What's up, Tina? What's up, Madman? Ah, Eva, welcome to the party. Welcome to the party. What's up, guys? Hey, hey guys. Hey, Carl. Mr. Rio. Oh, sorry. Mrs. Rio, Audrey. Thank you. Sorry. It's hard to see. So I'm old and stupid and decrepit. <laughs> so, guys, uh, guys, thank you guys for showing up. Calm down, RP. Let me calm down. Uh, all right. Um, Looking good, RPJ. Thank you. Uh, I took your, I took the things that you guys used to say about me in my wardrobe, and I was so hurt by it. I put on a suit, jacket, collared shirt. <laughs> I was so hurt. You know me and my. Uh, do you have microphone speakers? Oh shit! Um, is that is that screwing up the sound? Sorry, I was bashing boy. <laughs> not me, guys. Not me, Matt, man. I am not, we will never be, I will never confuse for whatever. I don't know who's fashion people. I don't know who's a fashion person. Asking about the microphone. Oh, oh that was screwing up the sound. Oh, you piece on it because uh, yeah, folks. Yeah, I was listening. <laughs> yeah, I was listening to the debate, and uh, I had my producer. She's my friend. Had my friend gave me the correct, the right order of things. I probably would have heard everything that I needed to hear, but uh, because of the order that I heard things at. Because I like to follow madness in order. Like, I want to see what built into this mad, madness. So, but I did hear. I'm breaking up again. It could be just the, the whole I'm in Australia and the blog talk, and I should have rebooted my computer thing. If it continues, let then I will reboot the computer in 30 more minutes because I don't want to hear bad sound when I listen to the playback of this. Uh, the other day, uh, oh, yesterday. Let's see, yes, I have to see each other now. Um, if this is... If, uh, if that's terrible, let me know. I don't want to hear terrible playback. I definitely don't want to hear terrible playback. I, I want you guys to be able to hear me. I don't want this to get all messed up. I'm saying, if it sounds okay, I think you're holding the mic. I don't think it's not like mic. It's not that great. All right, all right. How about this? All right, okay. I won't hold it so close. If it sounds terrible, let me know. I don't have a table here. I'm just gonna have to sit in my hand. <laughs> I know. I got the. I'm. I didn't buy the the piece that goes here. Blah, 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 blah. That's what it's doing. Oh, better. All right. Okay, we will try this because I probably should have rebooted the damn computer. I just didn't. I want the air. Sounds great. Okay, thank you. All right, so. 
the show will go on. Stop back for the and it's okay. It's sounding better farther away. It's good now. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um you like duct tape? <laughs> oh, do you have duct tape? <laughs> I know what? Um, I don't have duct tape. <laughs> why? Why are you asking my duct tape? Do I look like a serial killer to you? Do I, Clarence? I ate his liver with fava beans and a nice Chianti. All right. The reason it isn't a print. Prince show about Prince and my Prince music and how uh, his death affected me. The uh, reason why this isn't this show that or that show is because I and it's very was by chance because um, I first thing I do is turn on uh, my internet. Was it? No, it was off. So yeah, I don't think I need a rebooting. Anyway, um, I turn on the internet and my provider with the provider, and my Facebook comes up, my YouTube up, uh, comes up. That stuff comes up immediately because I have it in the automatic settings. So it's come up when I turn it on. Um, in my Facebook, um, one of my friends slash producers sent me some stuff. And it was anymore because this is like my secondary Facebook page. And I had with that type shit when asking me weird. Um, so, so anyway, I'm sorry, I'm trying to read stuff. Uh, the show for you today. All right, Tina's having a show. Uh, by the way, folks, Tina Turnup is having a show tonight. Make sure you find out the time and the place. Well, I think you know the place, but find out the time. Tina will write it down somewhere in the uh, chat section, and I'll relay that message to you guys. Please check out Tina Turnup, one of my great friends. Uh, and even when we don't get along, I, I'm still a friend. Even when she listens to me, I am still a friend. And uh, oh, before I even go further into the divine dummy stuff, um, I'm going to ask my friend Tina to please, for for you as a human being, cat, cat's my friend as well. Even though we've had our difficulties and. Some shit that's been said about me, your favorite God King RPJ. I'm going to ask you guys to barely hatch it. I want you guys to. Sometimes you hate me. Sometimes you like me. Sometimes you like me. I think most of the times you do. <laughs> that's all right. I hate you sometimes. Well. Kat and Tina, I wish you guys would just bury your head. And, uh, and try to work out friendships and try to work out being cordial with one another. It's, it's too. I should probably say this part. It's too, you're, it's too. It adds to you to show such uh, grace and character to one another. Uh, Tina, you are doing this for a while. This is your job. I know, I see devils, <laughs> I see devils everywhere. <laughs> I know it sounds absurd that I'm asking you guys to do this, but I'm gonna it's it doesn't hurt. I I my, one of my philosophies are is or is that why is when it's easier to make friends? All you have to do is let go a little bit of the ego, the macho, and just be friendly. The more and more you know a person deeper in their heart of hearts, the more that's melt away and people will view you as who you really are, as a real human being, as, real, as a, real, um, a real person, not just this person who says these wild shit about me or 
no, I get to view that person as, hey, now that's a real person with real feelings. And that person can see me as my real feelings. Oh, man, my nose is running. It's antibiotic. You just saw me wipe my nose in my own clothes, right? That's disgusting. There's really nothing there. I was just, well, maybe it was something there, but who cares? <coughs> okay, fuck that toothless bitch. But it's easier to... Um, <laughs> Tina is a something else, but it's, it, you know, I'll get into the divine dummy stuff in a minute. But, um, for example, my people say lots of things about me all the time since I'm a kid in my own family and seeing the, the disgust on people's faces at a five year old, a seven year old, seeing that look on their faces that they look at me and feel that emotion coming from. It's supposed to be your parents. Yeah, you just, you know, you got to let it go. I mean, I let it go. Oh, no, not that I didn't have visceral hate and anger. I did. But I let stuff was eating. It was like, it's all about just being better. I want to be better. Fuck that motherfucker. Fuck that motherfucker. Emotions. Um, listen, uh, people have said terrible things about me in my butthole. Um, did I come out of my shell and act fool? I came out of the fool, had a couple of drinks, and I acted a fool overnight middle show. <laughs> I can be trapped, Mike. Yeah, I just fucking read it in a riot act and I laughed at her emotions and all that stuff. Yeah, I mean, I was a real, I was a real piece of, I mean, I, I lowered myself to do shit like that. But never again did I fucking become just crazed animal. And then people went around saying more things about me. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to be mad at the entire world because they say things about me? No, of course not. Because I can't kill them all. I'll be killing hundreds of people who have had said terrible things about me. Hundreds of people. A lot of them. Now, I am no angel. I do like my fava beans and a nice candy. This is to take your whole Hannibal Lecter thing, Hannibal Lecter thing, but um, um, I sometimes spontaneous and outrageous. It could be that people, I, I'm not ashamed, of it, not ashamed of it at all. I put decent work into it. I can, um, not have any say over the apparatus, the appendages that swing from my body. Um, I didn't have a thought about, about that. I didn't even know that size mattered and all those things. So I don't have an issue showing off the magnificence of my body and the appendages that the universe has placed upon my body. <laughs> Apparently, size does matter, and I don't care. I say that to say, and may I will, I have done lots of things uh, on the behalf of men all the time. And I've been pretty successful with the things that I have done. I've been lucky. I shouldn't say successful. All right, I'm very successful, but uh, very lucky. Uh, I've had some great experiences. I say all that to say that I don't. I don't care what people will say about me. It, it doesn't bother my ego. For someone to study when I know that they the truth. Like, for example, like 
uh, so uh, like Lamar has issues with finances. He knows that I know the truth. I know that he knows. The truth. So whatever he says negative about me, I'm just saying this for an example. Uh, not that he has said anything. I, I wouldn't know. No one listens to Lamar or his shows or anything. Um, um, Lamar Taylor. Um, he can say plenty of things about me. Oh, for those people who don't know who Lamont Haley is, Monty is stage. And he can say plenty of things about me. But he knows I know the truth about him. Because I, I, you know, I've said it before. And this is not, I, I, he has not anything about me i'm just saying for an example i.e example or not i.e example but for example that if he had said something about me what would it matter to me because i know his truths he's only guessing at the truth that people say well i mean the things that people say so so i see you Tina, and cat I know you're not here at the moment, but Kat, I, I, I say to you in all seriousness that just, work, just, just try to work things out. It's better, to, it's easier to be, it's easier to smile and move on and try to, and try, try to have a coexistence, a friendship, an uneasy trust. In time, it was built upon itself and should develop. We really need our hearts. Then you have made a true friend, a true ally, you know. And I, you know, it's it's just a. I think it's a shameful that, uh, in a little, no, not my little, in your little, in our little, uh, I'll say our, I'll say our, because I'm referencing you guys. I'm here and, and that I make myself like I'm better than anybody else, although I am. But in this sector. I just noticed that there's so many people that are just friends, friends with this recording phone calls a week later. Hey, that guy, the girl, the phone week, friend again. It's just so simple. How do things work out? So I said, stop me. Um, let, uh, it's meaningful. It's meaningful stuff. All we letting our ego talking for us. Oh, he said something about me. Well, that motherfucker, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop his ass up. I'm gonna, oh yeah, I'm gonna just drop lava and lava, lava, of fucking insults on that motherfucker. I'm gonna teach him a fucking lesson. I don't know what accent I'm doing, but that's what I heard him in, so I started doing it. I'm gonna drop lava of fucking insults on that motherfucker. I'm gonna keep he, him. She should ne she should, she's going to rule danger with me. Let all that stuff go. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> Namaste is not working for you guys. I'll be the best you, Eva. I'm working on something about to be the best I can be. And Eva, I say the same thing to you, Eva. Oh, it's here to. A jackass, a pumpkin headed, misfitted, misshapen headed, down syndrome jackass. I, I'm with you on that. <laughs> I swear to God, I am. It's easy to hate the misshapen princess. Because he's a pretty girl. His mom said he was too. So he's the prettiest girl in town. He dresses and bracelets. Is, is holding hard desires in his little hands, bad body, stiff back. Mm -mm, he, he got now? He's got a car. car. Mm -hmm. He's special boy. That Lamont, he's a special boy. He's so special. No boy picked you to play on a softball team. No boy picked you to play football with them in the street. No, you didn't get picked on the team. They picked a the girl over you. Oh, come on, Mr. Lamar. Here, we got you in 
And you look at you, you so pretty, Lamont. <laughs> Man, I am built for this fucking black sector of, of YouTube's Ratchet Bill USA. It's easy to hack at. It's easy to get the guy that will, yeah, he will just, like, you know, he doesn't even understand the rules. Like, hey, I'm a, I'm a comedian. Let me say comedian words against you. He doesn't understand that this is all entertainment for someone out there. It has to be because he isn't a tough guy, is he? They pick on you. They pick me, RBJ. Yeah. But you have to understand, uh, Eva, he's been a pretty girl. He's been a special little girl his entire life. Come on inside, Lamont. Don't play. You don't need those ugly, dirty, germy sports anyway. And that's right. You don't have any girlfriends? Come on in, Lamont. Buy some earrings and some eyeshadow. <laughs> you are a special pretty girl, Lamont. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Can bring that here. I'll give you a go a, a diamond tiara for a place on that big rock. You are a special little girl, Lamont. Yes, you are. Now you go get Princess Bed, which are uh, what's the thing? Uh, drapings. Shut up, damn it. You get your bed now. You know, you dream about one day you're gonna be the biggest princess world diamonds and furs and skirts and panties and bras. You're gonna be the queen of this neighborhood. You don't need no dirty sports. You don't need friends. You don't need relationships with pretty girls. No. You just lay in bed. You still in the street now, Lamont. Me and me and Daddy got to go out now and make a living for you and buy you more trinkets, because that's what adulthood is. Up. <laughs> you know, that's what I want you to equate as having a being a man, or in your case, a princess, a queen. You have stuff, and those people don't have the stuff that you have, but you'll be better for it. I'm sorry, I just went on a fucking thing here. <laughs> he is so fucking special. Anyway, so Tina, I, I, I implore you, I, I beg you, in all seriousness, uh, Kat, uh, I, it's easy to go along with your, with your egos and it's easy to fight back and say these horrific things to each other, meaning absolutely fucking nothing. I want Take a hit, damage this. Uh, we'll have a the attention span of a child in this in this sector. They do the span of a child, and it will be because there are a lot of people that love embarrassing themselves, and they keep benching. It's going to be out there next week. He want he loves. You know, is he in a coma this week? By the way. Is he in a coma? Is he dead? Which one is he? Is he in a coma? Is he in a coma? <laughs> like a little princess looking for attention. He's he was in a coma. Anyway, and I don't even need a guess. That will come with my blog talk shows at some point. Maybe I gotta figure out how to get. I think people can bust on here if I gave them a link and then come bust on here. That's my next project is to have maybe one or two guests at a time here. That's uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. So that's my next project is to have a link that at, at, and I think I know the link to first I gotta figure out what the link is and then to do specific person per day per show. I'm going to do. All right, I'll figure stuff out what we can or start putting this way. Practice, practice uh, uh, Google Cast. Right. But, but so, uh, again, folks, Eva, 
cat, there's always jackass out there. That uh, sex and uh, I can, that's something you should do back in two days of uh, private, right? You do a so people should do that what they do, do what they want to do, do what's fun for them to do. And then every once in a while, you know, if you want to take a shot at at those that, and I'm I'm learning this too because now I'm in the industry, you know. Take a shot at someone that's a little bit bigger than you, that's legitimate um, and an authentic um, disagreements with. Disagreements? I said disagreements? Disagreements with. You have uh, something that totally, uh, a topic that they say that you totally disagree with, and you can take that shot at that, disagree at that topic that you disagree with by someone that's a little bit higher. Uh, in terms of viewership and sub, sub uh, subscribers and all that good stuff, uh, copy that. I copy that, Tina. I copy that. Thank you. So, those are my thoughts about the things and the evil. I should say the evil, but the thing that yeah. it's important that we can sustain relationships and friendships in this sector, the sector, chase three, six, four, nine, dash seven. Can't, in this sector, you can't uh, sustain long time with friendships. I have a long friendship for this sector, GHB 6-196. AA four one four two. Third space. Just friendship with my age. Not friendship. Oh, sorry. I should say internet. But this is stay on the internet persona level. I have a long time friendship. Even though he has said some horrific things about things. RPJ. I'm very, very hurt. Now, see, I think that Mike understands that I don't even give a shit. Yeah, so he knows that I'm not really hurt or, upset or, or even care. Oh, this is what I'm most insane. Oh, God, I hate that. And what's up, Pugly? Jeez, man. That's the one I didn't want. I didn't want this to be bad audio. Fuck. Imagine if I was going to press my friend. I had one of my good friends. I shouldn't say that. All right. Uh, is it okay? He's going in and fucking out. God damn it. Uh, let me go to the other page and see. Let me take a look. All right, sounds good. It's here. I'm watching it. I'm watching the little green dots go up and down. All right. I got just going to go like you guys. The mic is going in and out, love. Okay. How about this? You know what? Let me just do a lean. Lean back. Oh, it headphones out. That's when it sounded terrible, right? Okay, there you go. How's that? Is that okay? How I sound? I don't sound the same, but do I sound okay? Wait. Some fucking point. I don't care if you can't see me. I'm ugly, so I don't care. But me here. Tell me here. I'll wait. Tell me all your thoughts on her. Cause I really like to meet her. Now, do I get in and fucking out still? Uh, 
And really, it's in and out. Damn it. It doesn't. Can I, can I get on with the show? That's right. What do you now? Did she mic? All right, let's try. Sure. All right. All right. I'm going to take this far off.
All right. Okay. 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 <laughs> Technology. A button that press button. <laughs> You guys, my chat, my chatters, my, my, I guess you're my fans, I don't know, my fans, Adobe Flash video playback, shut up, I'm back, folks, back, okay, there we go, welcome, thank you, Madman, thank you very, very much, no more, words. just no more, uh, Thank God that I can. I have the ability to button. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I want to be like this. I got make sure everyone everyone likes him. Uh, even have the appropriate enemy. I mean, who's actually a good friend? I mean, this guy. I, mean, I want to be like Madman. No, sleep. Put me on fucking Facebook. Jonathan Still. It's a picture of my ugly ass there. Find me on Facebook. And it's doing it again. Tugsy. Not your fault. You <laughs> All right. It's interrupted. I'm just. He don't talk to you. I hate it. It's doing it again. All right. Terrible. I can't. I can't have. I can't go on with the show. Best. And I see. Could be terrible. Oh, RPJ, continue on, please. Okay. Okay, but now I see it stopped. So I like to check now. Okay. I think it finally cleared up. All right, let me turn off some of these pages here. Maybe I got too many things open and it's playing like shit. Turn off Twitter. Like I'm a bit. I have Twitter. I was gonna be this big thing. By the way, oh, I'm gonna have Twitter. I got the Instagram. I don't care for people who tweet. <laughs> I don't. Maybe it's the age in me. Like I don't care who tweet. What they say. I'm a stalker. I don't care about like what. I don't watch TV. Uh, all that yesterday where I Prince had died. I don't watch TV. And I guess a lot of people don't care. What? You don't watch TV? With all these wonderful channels in the world? Yeah, I just it's just garbage to me. Just garbage. I don't understand how you guys love garbage. Even as a guy now, that is probably would do me well to get into more of the ratchet stuff like the um, Bad Girls Club and the uh, Love and Hip Hop shit, just to know what jackasses are thinking about and what jackasses are watching, and I have a to even have a counter uh, a counter um, message to what that jackass show is playing. I should probably should watch it and just bring myself to watch it. I don't know how you fuckers do it. I'm mean, sorry, not you fuckers, but. I can't do it. I can't watch it. It's like shit on a fucking. Sorry, it looks like caca on a stick. <laughs> it does. It looks terrible. I don't know how you guys can watch this stuff. Uh, I tried watching Empire. It, I, I know, I know. There are going to be those Empire lovers and Empire haters. I tried watching it, and I watched a little bit. And all I see is every stereotypical bullshit. Every stereotypical bullshit that 
black people have fought against for billion people. I was even born to fight against that shit. And I see it on fucking empire through the first for, the, for a 11 minute block or 10 minute block. Or what's it? Eight minute blocks, eight minute blocks. I don't know how you guys watch that shit. I'm mad at you now. I'm mad at the audience for watching shitty shows. But no, it's public, not just you guys. I'm talking about Joe Public. And and and, and I blame white people too. You no. Know? Many as you know, I love me some white bitches. I love some white. No, you know I don't have. I'm not impartial to white standing. I, I you know I love all the races. I do. Um, but so in America, 70% of the people, plus percent of the people are white. You can't become a number one hit show just on black women alone. Or black women and punk bitch boys alone. You know, I was a Nielsen, part of the Nielsen family at one point where they lost the flyers and they did that shows. And I would always put their shows that I watch. Every time, without fail. And then I went away. I went on some something, and I didn't send back stuff in one week because I was away. I was at some football tournament, football, some shit like that. I don't know, whatever. I was a teenager when that stuff happened, and when now as an adult, and I didn't send this back. Anyway, so yeah, I was always from my favorite. Anyway, I'm getting off on a tangent about my childhood and all that shit, and um, yeah. I haven't even gotten to my main topic. Main topic. Empire is so homo. <laughs> it is fucking terrible. I mean, I don't know how you guys can watch that shit. But again, I don't know how you guys can watch any of the Bad Girls Club, the Prancing Elites. Uh, what's that teenage? What's that teenager cheerleader show with the ladies with the hair hats? Oh my God, I can't stand them. I can't stand the mothers. I can't stand the affected children. These are little kids with these mops. They look fucking ridiculous. I don't care them shaking their ass and gyro like teenagers, teenage kids, uh, teenagers do. I just care about the representation of bad mothering in a bad community. And the message that is, you know, seeing mothers uh, is the key to all existence. I think that's a bad message to keep fucking throwing out there. Being a single parent is tough. Me being a single father is tough. I don't see any fucking shows on that. Where's my show about black single fathers? That's actually a good topic that I should, I should talk about. Oh, bring it right. Fucking bring it. Fucking bring it, motherfucker. From the popular series of movies called Bring It and Bring It and Brought It and Fuck It and This and That. Kristen Dunst was in that movie it was in that movie, uh <laughs> it was in that movie uh franchise, wasn't she? And Gabrielle Uni. I can't believe that. Kristen Dunst had already had done stuff already by then. She was already in um uh she was already the little kid in an interview with a vampire by then. All right, anyway. DD for life. I'm gonna punch you, Tina. <laughs> All righty, folks. Um, oh, man. All right, folks. Do you mind if I have a a little break in the action? I don't have breaks, but I am going after these little boys. We have a little boy's room and it has a little toilet in it and my penis look huge in that little boy's room. Like, whoa, look how big my penis is. <laughs> so I go to the little boy's room and I take my penis out and it is it fills up the entire room, just my penis. It makes me feel good from an ego standpoint. Okay. So give me a moment. I'm gonna go to the little boy's room and uh, bring on my co-host. You speak for a little bit, okay? All right. And you sit here and talk. <laughs> I'll be right back, folks.
I'm going down mm -mm, to F that tree. I'm gonna cram mm -mm, that girl that I meet. I'm gonna talk so sexy. She want me from my hip to my feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna drive. My daddy's thunderbird on white red ride. It's so sad. It's so sad. I'm gonna put her in the back seat and drive her to Tennessee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tennessee, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna drive up. That was Prince's Alphabet Street. <laughs> yeah. I don't mean to be rude. I guess tonight I'm just not, I'm not in the mood. If you don't mind, I would like to hmm, watch. Okay, folks. Um, damn, I forgot to bring water. Man, this is terrible. I might come back on later on after the Mike Mills show. Guys, folks, ladies and gentlemen, you guys to check out performers. I want you guys to check out Mike Mills. He comes on at 10 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, check your numbers and your local BTRs, blah, 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 blah. And check out Tina Turner. She's having a show tonight at some point at some time. <laughs> you got, I mean, uh, check her out. Um, I've always found her um, fascinating and funny and uh, authentic. And one thing about her is she's authentic. And if she don't like you, she don't like you. If she likes you, well, man, she kind of likes you, but uh, she will say something interesting, funny, and definitely not for public broadcast. <laughs> she, a lot of things she says should not be said over the airwaves. So check her out. I do. On 98.7 Kiss FM. No. Um, uh, <laughs> um, you're walking down. Um, <laughs> uh, wait, what was your say too? Yeah, Mike was in there. Mike was in there, and now Mike's gonna probably get me for his show tonight in uh, 57 minutes. I don't know. I assume that he got his show back. Oh, I, I haven't been. I tried. You know what? That's a good question. I tried to um, check him out last week, and I didn't hear any show. And they said the lines were full. Was full, so I'm not sure. That's a good question. All right, folks. I got 57 minutes in this lot. I think that I'm having such a good output here, and I'm going to be doing my shows Monday to Fridays. America Mondays to Fridays. I'm going to stick with that. Um, the people, the person that's behind me, uh, he likes the idea that I'm doing Google Cast. Um, I didn't tell him I was going to do it before. I was, um, I didn't tell him that I was doing it before um, I started doing it. But um, he stopped by the show, stopped by these Google Cast, and he, uh, he liked it. He thinks it's a good way to go about things. And uh, so, yes, I've taken his advice. I've taken some of my you guys' advices as well about the, my dress code and uh, Jake Blues. Jake Blues is a good dude. Jake Blues a good dude. And, uh, yeah, he's uh, helped me, you know, get my head around some things and, um, you know, really take this uh, somewhat as super professional as I want to take it. Uh, I don't have to be buttoned down like, well, I am, but I don't have to be buttoned down and speak like this. Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to the RBA show. How are you doing, folks? Next on the uh, next thing, uh, next topic we want to talk about is the politics of the day. And Donald Trump is a dick. No, I don't want to talk like that. Yeah, I should enunciate better. And I definitely going to have a best off will be here soon. What do you mean by, are you going to get ready for your show? All right, Tina, go get ready for your show, I guess. Or you got stuff to do. Go ahead. I'll check you later, Tina. Maybe um, if you're on later, I'll probably pop on your show. 
so stop by the shows of the of night, uh, Friday night and overnight. Well, today Saturday morning is you know, Friday, um, woke up at eight thirty something a.m. Saturday morning. Today, Saturday morning. like yesterday was Saturday morning. Call six of them and text one of them. But yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so guys, well, listen out to the uh, various shows of the night. Mike Mills will be on soon enough, and then Tina Turner will be on soon enough. And I may stop by both of those shows because I like to make myself available and I like to hit the various audience that are now coming here to me. And it's a good way of showing solidarity amongst the jackasses, because I'm a jackass too, amongst the jackasses of the night, of our uh, internet lives. Because I'm only on the internet. I'm only on YouTube watching videos and shows and uh, documentaries and watching my crap and then editing my crap. Uh, and, I, and folks, yes, I'll get back to the beginning. I can't wait to check me out with the brand new. This is a good show. I just hate that the sound is old and. and I'm waiting to get better equipment. The equipment is coming, equipment, and I am going to stick to this. Monday to Friday, marathon, and the occasional Saturday or Sunday. Bye bye, Don. I wish you luck tonight. Show. That was to Tina. Have a good show tonight, Tina. And it's about bringing the hatchet and not burying the hatchet in each other. Wink, wink. But yeah, really, just it doesn't mean anything. But uh, I'm all over the place right now. Okie dokie. Let's get into um, him. <laughs> I am going to stick with it, Eva. Thank you. Oh, bye bye, blah. Oh, unless you're saying bye to um, Tina. Saying bye to Tina. Bye. That's good. I like that. Bye. That sounds like a girl would say that. I, um, <laughs> in my reading thoughts. Um, okay, the one, the reason why this isn't a Prince-dominated show, <laughs> that's funny, Firebomb, um, um, but not fair. Um, the reason why this isn't, isn't a Prince show, and uh, I wanted to talk uh, I wanted to put a lot of music on, and I tried to listen to one person's music, and then I was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to listen to that tomorrow because uh, I'll hear old print songs and songs that I, I don't know all the words to, and I'm going to listen to that, and then I'll probably sing some in videos, which I will be doing. I'm going to be singing some Prince video songs because I'm a big Prince fan. I grew up on Prince. I had a uh, mock band, uh, and then uh, the other other lead singer, I was a lead singer, and he was a lead singer. We had two lead singers, and depending on the song we would sing. Um, and I was the band in summer. And the name of the band was called Adam Eve, based out of Brooklyn, New York, and we toured the uh, bars. We, there was a popular name, a popular thing called Adam Bars for a while, and all they did was put their franchise names on existing bars. Anyway, so we did a bunch of knockoff. We did a bunch of print songs. Uh, uh, then we started venturing out in our own music. And uh, then he, he went to the, the leader of the band and the co-listener. Uh, co he wanted to do some Elvis stuff. And I was like, what? Come on, man. Elvis is lame. That's not Elvis is still lame, by the way, but. Um, I can get into Elvis. You know, I'm that, y'all. You know, you know. uh, but the reason why this isn't a Prince show, um, uh, because of what I got up this morning, because I actually didn't write anything out. Cause, well, anyway, um, I was going to talk about Prince and my relationship with his music and how it helped me as a teenager. This stuff and, and I'll say that for a different time. Uh, because when I got this morning and I turned on the computer and two came up and my suggested list, oh, sorry, my Facebook friend and producer of the, of the uh, 
Shout out to still RPJ, Reginald P. Jones, all those shows. Um, show me some Jamila Shante Briscoe videos, some mommy and daddy videos. And uh, I saw one, and I, um, I saw it out of order. I saw the very latest of her nonsensical videos. And she was just fucking out, fucking raging. It was disturbing to see, disturbing to know, disturbing to see. I was, uh, I was shocked and, and, and bothered. And just mind you, mind you, uh, I don't know if that was the same video, but she asked you on there and uh, kind of defended me uh, in a sense with uh, something that said me. And uh, she defended me, uh, and that was kind of cool and everything. And I thought about that, and I just thought that was just a basic manipulation because she don't know if it's true or not about me, but she says that. But I think those people who know me and know my character should go without saying. But the fact that she did that, but got my tenors and my juices flowing, so to speak, and the things that I was seeing and, and noticing uh, bother me. Miller Shante Briscoe is nice, 85 to 95% of things she did per, for, per video or per Google cast is an out and out lie or misperceived by her. Not that it's a lie. She misper her perception of that truth is not the actual truth of the matter. Okay? So you can't, you have to do so. In the things that she says, there's a either Two percent to ten percent of truth in, in this, he says. I believe, though, that Sherry Briscoe is a more than adequate mother of uh, Jamila Briscoe. Yes, there are some things that she probably could have done better for her child way back when. Um. There's some things that she can do better now to save one or two of those kids now. Now, I do understand that dealing with a teenager is not easy. Trust me, I know. Dealing with my own teenagers, well, you know, they weren't hard. My kids were pretty decent. They really were, even as teenagers, they were really with decent kids. Because I've already built up that whole thing about talking and working out issues. You'll be responsible for every, this, everything that you do. You're responsible. You have to live with the consequences of everything that you do. So you fuck up. You know that's all gonna, you know, gonna fuck up, possibly fuck up somebody. So I did all this. I like over talking, 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 walking it through with them, holding their hands through it, letting the hands go of it, not protecting them, not enabling them. So um, I just can be taught. They are strong minded. You can't walk from your seven and control anything that they do. You should make every decision for the ten. That's tough. But, um, I don't know if you're going to watch this stuff or not. One of those teenage girls. I know that you aren't the mother, and I know you have the you health is is um, is in question. I don't believe that you're good. And no, you didn't all right. You didn't do all the right things for your daughter Jamila. No, none of us did that. Either. I believe that the best that you could. I did the best that you knew how to. And I believe that there was a lot of some someone that will a teenager in the midst of anxiety and psychosis. It could not have been easy for you. I salute you. I salute you in the things that you have done. 
I saw that you have been there for some reason for those kids, the your grandkids. Um, unfortunately, you can't save, stay. And I will try. Um, I know you call CPS many times, daughter. To no avail because, as we all know, CPS refuses to help out in circumstances where it's being neglected and mentally uh, and emotionally destroyed. They just fucking refuse it. And this that fucking kid has blood streaming down his fucking face. They CPS will do nothing for black children. Very angry. Because if it was a white woman, uh, I hear about CBS white kids from white women all the time. I don't know their circumstances. I I hear some stories. I don't hear about physical abuse in some stories. Uh, they take white kids easily. They want to help save white kids. Let's rehabilitate these white kids. Sudden, uh, I watched uh, one of your videos. It was, pretty, uh, it was pretty good. What's up, Johnny? Johnny H. Johnny fucking H. Uh, good dude. The real for life lines, and, uh, and um, you know, he doesn't always agree with everything I say and do, and my perspective. But uh, you know, he'll tell me real shit, and that's all I want is real like real friendships with the. Uh, without ego and macho and bullshit and nonsense, you know? But uh, back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, uh, and, and it's a shame that fucking CPS will not... Fuck, I'm breaking up again. God damn it. All right, let me stop being angry. But Jamila has now all her children with her. The two girls that she sends the oldest son, the youngest son. Thank you. She has all her kids with her. And she got on video ranting and raving, saying vulgarities as for usual nonsense uh, in front of children who just are now so so uh, traumatized by the shit that comes out of her, their mother's mouth that they no longer even raise an eyebrow. They don't want anything to do with that shit, but they raise an eyebrow. With, oh, they go, mom, on tangent again. Oh, boy. They mean that like I don't see her and, and not look at her. And that's not, don't make eye contact with mom when she's on one of these fucking um, uh, crazy, psychotic, psychosis bullshit fucking rants don't make eye contact with her because then she'll bring you into the shit and that's of course that she brings the children into the media into the middle of this nonsense i didn't see and this is where you guys are going to help me out a little bit i didn't see the other two videos of the i wish i can't remember their names danielle and deja deja Deja. I didn't see those videos with the girls, well, at least one of the girls talking. At, I'm going to watch that like right after I'm done with my broadcast. What uh, to, can you tell me? Uh, like, what did she have her kids say about the grandmother who, by the way, was watching her, uh, watching the girls uh, without getting any payment from it? You think Jamila would send money to the kids, to the, to the grandmas for watching her own kids? No, she didn't do that. Um, so she didn't get, she make any money from it. She had to pay out of pocket for her, her grandkids when she has failing health. Her health is not where it should be. Not that she's dying. But you think that she, Jamila would have been like, thank you for taking the girls off me. And I didn't want them around me as I'm trying to get settled in my stalking settlement. But no, she didn't do that shit. It was bad. Was it bad? The shit that she had the um, daughter say, Grandma. And um, I wish I would have. 
I wish I would have uh, saw that one. I was running out of time. I had I was watching the shows in the order that I, I got them presented to me. I was I'm I'm completely this this is madness. Oh, this is madness. That seriously, even if the things that we see, not perceive or anything that we see, that we the public can say and show CPS a fucking uh, enough. Look at what we're showing CPS. We're showing a mother smoking cigarettes and whatever else she's smoking. Now, some of you guys may not know this, and I know Tina uh, t uh, tells the truth. So do you know that uh, whether it was CPS or police, and then Child Protective Services uh, has uh, do drug tests on Jamila. And because somehow or another that she got caught with weed or weed paraphernalia, paraphernalia, paraphernalia. yeah. Uh, do you guys know that? But here she is, the things that we are seeing on video, and I download some of this, I used to download everything, but I just can't do it. My computer will be filled up with her shit and my shit. Maybe when I get the other computer and maybe I will fill up her shit with my with fill up my shit with her shit. That sounds stupid. <laughs> you keep saying that after a while. My shit with her shit. All right. Definitely see Blue Owl. See Blue Owl me very uh like I and I'm gonna use her word. This is C I'm C Blue Owl. I don't know what Jamila hopes to accomplish, but YouTube is not her friend. She can't even be a dead mom for two minutes. Got her children in this mess. Ex fucking exactly. Oh, well, Puckley, if that's true, Puckley says CPS and the cops came to grandma's house too, apparently. Um, can't confirm that yet, but uh, or deny it. <laughs> but if that's true, it's probably that Jamila called on or 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 CPS was called on Jamila and they checked in with all the kids. That's probably what more more than likely happened. We, us, she, maybe, maybe next door. CPS went to Jamila's house because she had the big boy, little boy. So they do a whole with her the kids see what's going on. And that's why they went to grandma's house. Yeah, they shouldn't be exposed to this shit. I know, and I know, and I'm gonna no, I'm not gonna apologize. Um the, the people that want best for me in this medium, they really wish that I wouldn't know about this more. Not that actually anything like that. They just think that it's beneath me. They think that I can do more and better, and um, and uh, yeah, I can open myself up to more and better things, things of value, things of substance. Even just being funny on just for funny's sake, I copy all that. And like I and, and I put this down. If I see something that's fucked up, I'm not going to turn my back on it. Just because I've talked about it a thousand times, I'm going to talk about a thousand and one times. You know, a lot of my girlfriends and wives and girls now, family members, they don't understand my intensity for this. And I say, look, just look. And I try to tell them my history that I was abused. And I want to be there for those who go through problems in their lives, whether it's a friend or someone that could help them out of the situation. That's what, and I tell them a story. You know, I tell them my objective, my mission statement going forward. I'm going to help be a help to people. If it's a kid that's being abused, like white, whatever, it doesn't matter the race, whatever. I'm going to help them. So I guess after a while of me ranting and raving about the shit that I see in a video, uh, something said in the video, something smoked in front of a kid in the video, they must say, oh, Reggie, enough already with this thing, bullshit. 
And I go, well, I know you don't care, don't understand, but I do, and I'm going to keep pounding on that fucking drum, the keep bringing eyes to that situation because I'm going to do whatever I have to to protect one or all four. If I do nothing, at least I fucking said something about it. At least I tried my hardest. At least I, at least I beat on that drum about it. And it's not just her; it could be any, but it's it's been her. So I'm gonna keep banging on that fucking drum. I'm gonna keep pointing out the shit that I see is fucked up. I'm not gonna stop. No, I don't want. I really don't want to do Jamila twenty four fucking seven. I don't. But if I see something and it's about to the detriment of a child, I mean, if it was just about her fucking herself over. I wouldn't give a shit. I would find it funny. I probably would do more jokes and stuff. Like, oh, it's funny that she did this. Oh, it's funny. I don't find it funny that she smokes uh, cigarettes and weed in front of a three-year-old kid, right, who sits in the lap in the same fucking room getting a contact high. I find nothing funny about that. I find nothing that I should walk away from about that. I'm not. So I don't care who gets upset about me. I mean, I don't want to anger piss people off that are close to me. And, and I get that. And maybe, yeah, I, 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 I hear all the stuff that they want for me to my, for my better, for, for me to go on with this. I cop that. I'm not going to just pretend I don't fucking see it. I'm not just going to walk away from it like, oh, it doesn't matter. Those four kids are just good as dead. So, you know, let me just go on in my life. I'm not going to do it. I'm bringing on a sweat because I got my anger into this now. Because I'm here, I because I've heard all the people. I've heard all the people speak to me, and I just like, wow, you either you just don't care from where I come from, or you just don't give a fuck about what's going on there, and I can go about it anyway. Well, I am doing what I what I set out to do. My point was to bring more eyeballs to the table to that situation. I, I, no one was giving me a break about it. Oh, leave that woman alone. Leave those women and those kids alone. Uh, I had so many people hate my guts and saying these awful things about me. It's on your own side. What are you picking on that lady for? Blah, 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 blah. Turns out I wasn't such an asshole after all. Along with me, and like, Reg, you got a point. And even some of those people, like, uh, you know, you got a point, but move on and go on. I mean, it's nothing you can do about it. But I want to do more eyeballs to it. I'm proud of that. Uh, am I realistically, am I going to be able to save any, are we going to be able to save any of those kids? Probably not. Till she basically kids, kids turn mother in themselves which is a possibility nothing's going to be done you just jamila's just going to leave that situation and go to another state another housing she will first she'll go to another pl place in the georgia uh, georgia and then she'll leave the state eventually when shit starts getting too hectic for her this is what she does this is her shit and i broke out in a major sweat <laughs> I let my fucking intensity get in the best of me there. So, yeah, really nothing that we do, I do, you do, ain't going to fucking matter. But I'm not going to turn my back on it. If I see it, I'm going to, if I see it, see something, say something, right? Remember how they, you know, when the bombs, I'm from New York, so we had that a lot. See something, say something. And then I was, uh, I worked the detail in the subway. As I used to, and I had so many people see something, say something, and I was all over the fucking place when, on that detail. I did that for like three months. See something, say something. And then I had that detail with my automatic weapon, and that was but really annoying, but yeah, but uh, I'm I'm not going to turn my back on any situation that uh, that I see is fucked up. 
Uh, Donald Trump is fucked up. I haven't talked about that yet, but give me time. So I, I say to you people, you, John, J John and Jane Q. Public, is that right? Jane Q. Public, keep doing what you do. If you see something, say something. Don't cower, try. Ain't gonna hurt to try, right? Who knows? Maybe at some point something uh, will happen, and you know, maybe some of you guys have more credibility than some of uh, others, and maybe you guys will be able to help. Keep your eyeballs on it, download the shit that is fucked up, send it in to CBS, flag that channels when need be. After you download the video, of course, <laughs> gotta have proof. So anyway, you know, I, 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 one last thing on the subject about the madness that I, I, I saw. The madness that I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw. I saw. That's what it sounded like in my ear in the playback. Um, yes, her ass is lumpy as her stomach, but yeah, but um, uh, you know, uh, speaking of that, see, well, it's funny that she offers weight loss programs or whatever she's offering for weight loss. And she's about as big as the as big as the moon right now, and she doesn't exercise and all that stuff, and she doesn't do it the right way. Even I haven't had the audacity to to uh, help people out with their weight loss, other than exercise and stop eating and drinking all those sugary fucking drinks, especially before bed. I think I've said that a few times. Of course, those old videos aren't there because. You know, I got flagged down. I said to end off that topic and subject, and maybe even the show, I say this. People's character has to mean something to somebody. Yeah, I'm not that I'm an angel or they ain't angels, but their overall character has to get it can't be always about just, you know, entertaining yourself and saying nothing. If I see someone with a fucked up character, I can friend that person. I'm not going to go on my way. Even though my, my objective is um, it's better to be friendly with someone than to be an enemy with them. It's to keep cool and to be an enemy. But if I can't do that, I'm at least not saying anything about that particular jackass. I know they have fucked up character and they are worthy of my friendship, not even my cordial friendship, not even my, hey, you know, um, nothing. They, they aren't worthy of my friendship. And I have to mean something. My, uh, my character has to mean something. My character with my family and friends is, is meaningful. And thus, my character and, um, is more those who those who watch my videos and watch this hangout. It's meaningful. I again, I never said I'm an angel. I'm not an angel. I'm I'm vulgar as they come. I have an intense anger inside of me that I try to keep in a box. Um, I sometimes want vengeance. I, I'm, but I'm, but I can see the bigger picture, and, and vengeance isn't probably the way to go about doing things. Uh, after I calm down, if I breathe for a second, I realize vengeance isn't the way. It just takes away from me and all that stuff. But I say to you, since this is how I started the show, uh, if don't put, you don't have to have a. Uh, vendetta against people out there in, in the world. You don't have to, you don't flock to people with bad character. Don't look at the shit they say because you know what? It's just because it's they have, they come from a bad place. You don't 
you shouldn't be a party to that. You should let that shit go. Let that person go. I have to be seen by that piece of shit that is your entertainment of bad character piece of jazz. That was my girl passing by, hiccuping. Uh, that's funny, uh, flower bomb. <laughs> Don't associate with shit. Don't let things. Don't let that shit bother you too much. You go fast to who you are as a human being and try to evolve and grow from that. Thank you, Johnny H. Johnny fucking H. Thank you. You got good character too, man. You're a good dude. And I appreciate your friendship and the kind words, straightforward words, whatever words you say to me, you know, I, I really appreciate that. So uh, I really appreciate true and genuine, authentic uh, friendships and straight words, whether I like it or not like it. I, that I appreciate more than anything else. Because I at least try to show character the friends that I made in the magical world of Facebook and online and YouTube. I try to show them about some of the, uh, my owl mouth and um, workout videos and what should I say? My family and how I deal with my grandkids or even my kids. And even sometimes in social media, uh, you can get um, blowback from a family member who is so upset that you leaving them that they are trying to hurt you in the magical world of social media. It happens. Get over it. It then doesn't bother me, doesn't upset me, just life. But more than that, I've always tried to still and show. Um, I don't beg anyone, but I try to show that I'm a decent dude trying to do uh, decent work and trying to be funny and, and be comfortable in my own skin and reinventing yourself and growing, evolving, becoming more than your surroundings, becoming more than how you were raised. I try to be about that. Not you guys, you know, run and watch the destructive behaviors of jackass men and women. Vulgarity and racist words just spewing about by Again, other guests. I know, Blau Bomb. Oh, you know what? That's a good. That's a good point. And uh, I'm gonna talk about that in a moment. It's as my final. But let me wrap that up. Firebomb, Firebomb give me some stuff that I want to last thing on the subject of divine dummy. So, folks, uh, fans, friends, and countrymen, <laughs> try to seek out those things that would make you better. Yeah, I know a chain wreck is sometimes entertaining. Um, sometimes you got to evolve from that as well. It can't be always about the being entertained like a child. It can't always be about the train wreck of other people's lives that amuses you. Sometimes you just gotta, if you flock, if you, you gotta flock to something else instead of the train wreck, just go away from that. You yourselves grow up in a sense. Go away, just leave that person to their own devices sometimes and just go away, leave them, leave them be. Go on about your business. Be smart, you know. I mean, yeah. Keep your eyes on something, you know. Hey, you know, download this, download that. If it's something that oh, send the CPS, send to the police, copy that. That's something I'm not talking about. I'm talking about 
the other jackasses in other situations where no one's in danger, but you flock to this shit, this train wreck jackasses. They offer nothing. They don't even offer humor. <laughs> Seriously, they offer like they live like shit and they want to lie about it. They have pretty prince. Uh, the pretty princess has nice dresses and trinkets and uh, rims and but it's a piece of shit. Why flock to even yourselves do better evolve for yourselves and let those pieces of shit just fall by the wayside. All in my let them stay. Don't go there. Pick them up. Let them be. Let them stay. move on. You yourselves grow, evolve from it. Because more like the even though you evolve and you evolve and you have a different mindset, you can still enjoy life. You probably enjoy life. You can go a bigger, grander scale. A thing you didn't find funny before because you have an understanding of those things. Now you find funny because you have now evolved a little bit and you find those things funny. Quirkiness of those acting performance you find funny. Like, as a little kid, I didn't understand acting and stuff like that. You know, as I have a I find some things funny in people's personas that I've acting. I'd say that to you as well. And you guys will evolve, whether by us most up by through the many years of life or experiences, you're going to evolve. Or you can seek out evolvement, seek out um, maturing in it. And I like these words, mature, mature in a lot of my life and the, my and vulgarities and whatever. But, um, Just go on, evolve. Be free to evolve. I'm telling you that it's okay. Whole world that you don't know, go know it. Go learn. Know it. Be a part of it. That's all I say about that. And my last word, unfortunately. Farm makes a good point that the divine dummy was in in a sense in the video that I saw, she was openly manipulating, openly suggesting to them that um, only brainwashing them, having them sort of hear mommy yell and rant and rave and have them audibly agreeing to that it was and i said she had always done this she always does this does this she always she oh she has all done this what can we do about it as individuals as people as people watching there's nothing we can do. just on what we're doing we see, say something document it have proof like training day. what can you prove download it send it into somebody see what they say. and delete delete that channel flag the channel up you download Well, well, well. That's the, those are uh, good, um, good topics that I'm looking for for a little bit longer. Uh, firebomb. Jazzy. Right. She was talking about being right. You, Remember she got a video and said the pussy from those kids. Remember I think they had video. I think I have that as well. Right. 
was nuts. Anyway, there's so much more things I on this. Of course, I do this once a week. I don't know. I hope not. I hope there's some growth on her part. I mean, maybe um, she is a, a attention whore. Uh, the fact that we giving her attention and uh, is also feeding into it, in a sense, it is. We have to be aware of it. We have to bring eyeballs to, the, to these issues that grow on. So we have to do part. I'm going to do my part whenever I can, whenever uh, you know I get a chance. I'm I'm doing it now. I'm going to keep doing my part. But in a sense, the fact that we are giving her attention is also something that's feeding into her. It's a double-edged sword here. And knowing that we don't have CPS and the police to help us, I mean, they police police are more likely to help us, but then it goes to child uh, child services and they do nothing to help us. I don't know. It's a tough. It's a tough situation. I wish I, I wish I wish I had the answer. I wish I had more wishes. I wish I had a wish. I wish I had honor and taken care of. But it's not. Sadly, you know, we got those, those kids, like uh, we've seen in our neighborhoods, in our communities, and throughout America, in these fucked up places. Those kids will be lost, abused, neglected, not, not be tried and done, due to help those kids. That's those are just they are going to get worse, and I can't. Well, I, uh, you know what? Let me back this up by saying what I believe is going to happen. I'm pretty good at this. What's going to happen, you hear me? What's going to happen is at some point, because now, uh, Shamila has those kids, the girls that she resents, the girls that she's got to, um, um, what. She has to um, uh, contend with. She has to compete with those girls because that's what she looks at it as open competition with prettier, younger, fu less fucked up versions of herself. And those girls are in their mother's uh, eye um, and, or in their mother's ilk. They are just like her, just younger, uh, cleaner versions of her. You're right, Firebomb. Man, Firebomb, you, I, you're absolutely right. But next time when we talk about this thing, maybe I'll do this on Monday too. And you come early and I'll just basically, you be like my co-host. I just read the shit that you're saying and then I'll say what I have to say, then read your shit. Because really, you're saying it's absolutely fucking truth. Not only Firebomb, Jazzy, and Madman, you guys all, Tina, you guys all, all said uh, Pugsley. All of you guys, no one has had you all have got well then you have to eat no you all said wonderful things and I I think that's what I'm gonna use when I do Oh my god, I can't talk. When I do this issue again, I'm gonna read it and I cause it's it's like you guys commenting, so but then again you guys can see yourself comment, so maybe I'm just talking shit out of my ass. <laughs> Boom. Ah, that's some tasty spit. Um, <laughs> you're right. Um, to ignore this woman, she is going to do. Uh, she's going to do something outrageous to get our attention. So, ooh, if you stay away from Lou. She will kill or hurt. Or totally disgusting. If you don't mention her after a certain amount of days, she will do something totally disgusting, despicable, or hurtful to one of her kids. So this, this is a weird dynamic here that we in social media have now have the responsibility of making sure that she doesn't do stupid shit. So we have the right amount of attention, but yet ignore her most of the time. It's a tough situation for us to be as guardians of Jamila. Basically, us social media, us in this that she seems to really care what people think about her. 
it's an odd dynamic of a sociopath, but it is what it is. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Oh, wait, Joey, get over here. It's easy as it is, you know what I'm saying? And you know my entire friends talk like that. Hey, hey, Reggie, get over here. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Hey, wait, what's going on? Hey, Joey, get over here. Get big at Reggie. He's a funny fucking uh, Mama Luke, you know what I'm saying? Hey, oh. No, but ah, see, yeah, Jazzy's right. But anyway, folks, I, I can I can go on and on, and perhaps in my next show I shall go on and on and on. But uh, there's so many things that should be said. I, I will continue my uh, dealing with that situation as best I can when he can. I'm going to document what I need to document, and I want you guys to do the same thing as well. You gotta give her the problem of attention, but you gotta also give her the problem of uh, ignoring her. It's a tough stuff, it's a tough situation. I'm fucking, I'm fucking crazy like that. Hey, yo, I gotta go, guys. Yeah, I gotta rock and roll. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll come back. Maybe I'll come back. Who knows? Hey, maybe I won't be so dressed up. Maybe uh, the clothing. Uh, I don't know. But uh, now it's not like John Travolta. It's not like, hey, what's going on, Johnny over there? What's going on? Hey, yo, AP over here. Check out this RPJ guy. I swear to God, he's a funny fucking dude. Hey, see that thing you said the other day, RPJ? Hey, oh. Hey, 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 uh, how big is your schlong? Hey, hey RPJ, how big is your schlong? What do you mean how big my schlong is? Yeah, black guy's got big cocks. Hey, oh. <laughs> Maybe I should do comedy. Hey, Rocky. Hey, Rocky. Hey. Hey. Hey, Nick. Cut me, Nick. I'm going back out there and follow me. This is Rocky with brain damage. Hey. Hey, cut me, Nick. I'm going back out there and I'll fight the follow fucking me. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. <laughs> Rocky with Alzheimer's. I don't know. So, folks, I want you guys to go out there, and I want you to enjoy your night. I think Mike Mills has a show on tonight. Tina Turnup has a show on tonight. Uh, and I know and, uh, for some of you guys who don't like her, you can go over there and uh, talk to her and uh, mix it up with her. And But even to you guys, I say you guys don't have to fight. You don't have to fight. You really don't have to fight. You don't. Yeah, we all tried. I tried. Yeah, thank you, Jazzy. We did. I tried. We all tried. Nothing in the game. Hey, uh, but moving on. Um, as you guys, again, you guys don't have to fight. You don't have to mix it up with her. You don't have to. Um, I mean, you you don't have to be an adversary for adversary's sake. Sometimes it's just your ego that's getting in the way of whatever th of everything, and you can go on there and um, you know just listen, laugh, when you laugh point out a fact. Or an observation, and uh, you know, enjoy your night, enjoy the people, enjoy everyone. I mean, my shows that we go on now. Jack has show like the uh, Lamont, Lamonti, uh, yeah, LA and Monty, or Lamar and um, Lamont. The shows are lame, and I, um, I mean, even then, you don't have to go on to be an adversary of those jackasses. You can go on and listen, I guess. You can see, um, going, I'm, I, I just can't do I'm, I, I won't go on shows, it's just a waste of my time that I hear nothing funny happens. Nothing funny ever happens, nothing's funny ever said. But you know, so don't go, don't go on the event. Go enjoy your own lives, you know. That's what I say. I say that with a deep voice, too. Go enjoy your lives. Hey, don't you hate me, hey. <laughs> oh, hey, Madman. Oh, don't you hate me. Oh, I got it. I see. I'm sorry. I'm reading. I have to read. All right. Well, folks, it's been a blast. I'm going to go off and um, and soak uh, my butt. No, I don't know. I'm going to go on and lay down now. All right. 
And then uh, who knows? Who knows what happens after that? You know what I'm saying? I, th I do appreciate you guys uh, stopping by. This is a, a award-winning, no, it's an award-winning amount of people. You know, you guys have been there and you guys are with me and it's is awesome. And uh, maybe I have to not be so highbrow and uh, I don't think I'm highbrow. And some of the shows that I do, uh, you guys wait. I'm going to keep evolving. I'm not going to stay in this level. I'm going to keep evolving. And, and, and a better orator, an orator, and I'm going to be acting and doing more stuff with better equipment as we go on. And I want you guys to stay with me and enjoy the ride. Enjoy, uh, enjoy, enjoy, um, what? Enjoy, um, Enjoy me, and and you can be here from the bottom level saying, oh, I remember when RPJ was really sucky, wearing hats with suit jackets. <laughs> and, um, you know, there will be a point in time where I wear uh, Nikki hats with suit jackets. You can say, I remember the time when I, oh, I remember when RPJ used to wear hats and jackets and he used to sweat in a chair with a gorilla behind him. Not a real gorilla. He had a fake gorilla that's leaning over and wearing panties and bras. Oh my. He really. Thank you. On level of that. <laughs> All right, folks. I got to rock and roll. This has been fun and sweaty. And um, um, the things that you guys write have, if I just read the things that I see you guys writing, I'd probably just laugh the entire show. Just come on here and go, ha, 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 ha. It wouldn't be entertaining to anybody else. So you stay with me and you see what happens as I evolve in blog talk shows and the videos and different channels, meetings of channels. And just stay with me. I'm going to, I'm grown. I'm becoming more. I'm body. And that's what I like to do. My name is RPJ, and this has been PJ Showbot. So we are still. Folks, it's been an honor and a pleasure. I really appreciate you guys being here. Check me out Monday. I'll be here on Monday, okay? I'm very close tonight. You hear me around. Who knows? Stranger things are stranger things have happened. Okay, folks. See you when I see you. Goodbye. Oh, you can go now. Later. I'm not your lover, I'm your friend. I'm something that you never understand. I never beat you, I never lie. Right? I kick you by and by cause you, I would die for you. Yeah, you die me if you want me to, you. I would die for you. Rest in peace, Prince.